Uh, the May 25th, 2023 City of Friendswood Planning Zoning Commission regular meeting is now called to order. We'll begin, we will begin by receiving communications from the public. Don't see anybody from the public. Uh, next is our consent agenda. These items are considered routine or ministerial in nature and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion on items unless a commissioner so requests, in which case the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. Item A is the minutes of the planning and zoning regular meeting held Thursday, April 13th, 2023. B, consider approval of the Jeter Memorial Funeral Home replat. And item C, consider approval of the Nixon Estates final plat. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Motion passes. Next on the agenda are action items. According to the planning zoning rules of procedure, R 2021-18, all action of the commission shall be made by an affirmative vote of four or more members of the commission present at such commission meetings. Action item one, discuss proposed amendments to the City of Friendswood Zoning Ordinance, section 7.p.6, permit permitted use table including updates to categories as a result of changes to the North American Ind Industry Classification System, NAICS, reference book, and changes allowed, changes in allowed uses in many districts. Is there a motion? Motion no to motion. approve. Oh, okay. Oh, we, yeah. Sorry, no, no motion. No motion. Because mm -hmm. oh, this is for discussion. Motion to discuss. <laughs> uh, okay. Becky, any staff comments? Uh, yes, sir. So this is an item that the ordinance subcommittee has been working on. Uh, the NAICS reference book covers all the different economic activities that that exist between uh, bakeries, you know, doctor's offices, dance studios, things like that. And we allow certain uses in certain zoning districts. Um, city staff update. Well, the book itself is updated every five years and city staff and the the ordinance subcommittee look at it on an annual basis. So the last adopted one for us is the 2017 reference guide. And so we would like to update the changes for the 2022 reference guide. They did make several changes to um, codes and titles. It's not anything of substance, it's more administrative. So we have a couple different categories of changes. We have some administrative updates, which is to make our stuff match what the book looks like. Uh, we want to remove the S1 process. If y'all remember a few years ago, we had personal care facilities and they had a very specific process for approval. That is something that was removed from the ordinance so that we would match state law. When we did that, uh, there was a piece that was inadvertently left in the zoning ordinance. So we wanna take that out for cleanup. Um, and then we did have some staff recommendations for changes. Some are minor, some are a little bit bigger. Um, if y'all want, I can kind of go through the changes page by page, or I can give you the highlights, or I, I we're think just, just it's, a highlight. Highlights, okay. Okay, so um, the the permitted use table, like I said, most of them are administrative in nature. Um, there are some. So what we were wanting to do are, is allow uses that are in the commercial zoning districts, also in industrial zoning districts. So if a retail bakery is allowed in the downtown district or the commercial shopping center district, we thought they should also be allowed in industrial or light industrial. Um, we should have less restrictions in the more industrial areas. So we wanted to get basically head nods from the commission on these items of substance. The next step would be to actually publish public hearings and then take it to council for approval. So the first big thing is if it's allowed in downtown or commercial, I'll also allow them in industrial or light industrial. Not only a head nod for me, <laughs> but I think that makes sense, right? We're, there's parts of Friendswood that we want to get business in and those are the industrial areas. Why would we limit that? Uh, especially because so far we've seen people be very creative out there and make it nice and it works out there. So I think it, if it's allowed in CSC, it should be allowed in light industrial. 
Okay, and then this change will also accommodate um, some developers that we're trying to get, they're doing an industrial park um, and we haven't been able to approve certain uses. So they had a medical facility that wanted to go in, but right now it's not allowed. So that would help them procure some more tenants as well. Um, the next change that we wanted to go over was to allow beverage manufacturing for wineries, breweries, and distilleries in the downtown district. Uh, we have had to turn away a winery that wanted to go into a small space in the downtown district. Uh, the old code has beverage and tobacco manufacturing as one use. The proposal is to separate them out. So tobacco manufacturing would still not be allowed in the downtown. It would be more an industrial use, uh, but it would let us do, you know, if we got a really neat little microbrewery or winery, something like that. Uh, that, that is a topic that's come up several times. So that is probably the biggest change that we're proposing. Okay. Um, and I think, I think that was about it. I think on on, I thought I on that one specifically bit. while you're looking for the wineries oh, and breweries, I think when they had it tobacco and breweries, they're thinking big factories and that. And and you see now they have, it's basically a restaurant that just ha makes their own beers. So yes. um, I think that is becoming more modern or with the times. So I think that's reasonable as well. Right, yeah, I, I think it opens up the door to get us a little bit more business. Right now we're kind of limited in, in those type places. They they will go somewhere else. So they, they, won't, they won't fight to make changes. They'll just go to the next city over. So I think that's good for us. Um, the only other change was to allow all other amusement and recreation activities permitted an industrial and specific use permit in downtown and um, CSC. So we found out the, the driving range next to the Friendswood Sports Park on 528 by the animal control uh, is not allowed. <laughs> it's there, so they're grandfathered in, but they've come in looking at doing some changes to their site and we figured out there's, it's not permitted and they don't even have the option of doing a specific use permit. So that was a change that we wanted to propose, um, letting them be in industrial, but if they wanted to go in the more restrictive commercial districts, they can, they just need city council approval. Okay. So that was the, that was the only other change. Most, like I said, most of it was cleanup. Um, Wasn't there something specifically about an arcade? Like in there, yes and no. Um, our previous city attorney had sent us questions about the use, and she was concerned with game rooms. I think was where it was coming from. The Sounds way that, very eighties. <laughs> well, and ball machines. The way that we have it, we left it with a specific use permit for city council to decide. So it is. It is because that category, yeah, that category okay. lumps a whole bunch of uses together. So not only is it the game rooms, but it's also like arcades. Uh, we did have a man approach us a couple of years ago. Him and his son wanted to open up an arcade in downtown. So we want council to have the option to, you know, depending on what type of game room or amusement it is, um, if, it, if it's too, too much, they can deny it. Um, if it's something small and, you know, uh, can, it's not going to have any repercussions, then they can allow it. So we didn't make any changes. It was just a note on there that a change was discussed and we're just going to leave it as is. But I think that was it, unless y'all had any other questions. Very good. Any other questions? None for me. Okay, so we will um, we will notice public hearings. We'll bring it back to y'all for an official vote, and then it will go to city council. And if they are okay with it, it will be our new code. Very good. Good work. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is communications. First is announced that the next Planning Zoning Commission regular meetings have been scheduled for Thursday, June 8th, 2023, and Thursday, June 22nd, 2023. Uh, next, we have a DRC report. Becky? Uh, yes, the report should be in y'all's backup. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. I don't think there was anything too, too out there in the report. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Commissioner Bounds. Any comments? No, sir. Thank you. Mr. Kern. Uh, let's see. The ordinance subcommittee met and we talked through the permitted use table that we just talked about in the last agenda item. So um, other than that, I don't have anything. Very good. 
Mr. Mann. Nice work on that, and I'm just happy to be here. Mr. Rose? Nothing to report. Okay. Uh, nothing additional myself. I appreciate the, uh, the work from the ordinance uh, subcommittee. Um, next, um, uh, Council Member Griffon, anything? I don't have anything. Okay. Yeah. Any, Becky, anything else? Okay. With that, thank you everyone for attending this meeting and the May 25th, 2023 planning zoning regular meeting is now adjourned.